Hey YouTube, how's it going? I was saying that I didn't have any ideas for videos and luckily a couple of kind users have offered me a couple. Mm. So I'm going to respond to this PM uh, from Red Screamish, of which this is an abbreviated version. I'm having a minor debate or, or argument with a friend at the moment. I live in a town uh, small enough where there's one main nightclub which does really good business-wise from the surrounding area. For the past number of years, the club has been employing a promotional kind of Baywatch models to serve free drinks, dance and pose in photos of people. One particularly sad photo I remember is the two of them standing posing in one of those cheap, tiny, inflatable children's pools. They seem to be there most weekends, whether the theme is beach or not. They're always dressed extremely provocatively and sometimes dance on podiums or on stage, which I find really sleazy and almost adds a touch of lap dance or strip club to the place. What I find baffling is that no one seems to find the situation odd or out of the ordinary. It seems to just be accepted by the majority, including my friend who sees nothing wrong with it. It leaves me feeling uncomfortable, but often I find it's difficult to vocalise my feelings on the subject, well, articulately at least. This is cheeky and a long shot, but I thought since, since I enjoy your videos, maybe you would give me your opinion, either in text or video. Hey, um, Red Scrimmage, how's it going? Okay, podium dancers. Um, I suppose my feelings on podium dancers are mixed and are pretty much similar to my feelings on um, pornography in that on the one hand I am a bisexual woman and I, I find you know um, semi-clad women dancing very erotic um, and on the other hand I am a kind of Marx inspired feminist um, that finds the notion that sexuality um, could be um, commodified and capitalised um, quite sad um, I used to go to a place in Camden Town, I don't know if anyone's ever been, called the Electric Ballroom. It's closed down now, but it was there for about 40 years. And on a Friday night they had a, a night called Full Tilt and they used to have cage dancers there. And I used to take ecstasy back in those days, so I, whenever I went, I would go there, I'd just be a fucking space cadet at the time. Like, And I remember just kind of going up to these like beautiful women dancing in cages and kind of just feeling awe, like it's one of the most beautiful things that I've ever seen. Um, you know, so I think that that female, um, that women, nudity and sexuality is not something to be disparaged. Um, but I think there are two reasons that I suppose particularly a podium dancer might make me feel uncomfortable. And one is that I suppose that I'm not necessarily aware that they're there before I pay my entry fee. So I'm, I, I may in, involuntarily be supporting something that I don't normally support, um, which because I wouldn't go to a strip club. Um, that's not to say that I don't like watching women take their clothes off, but I usually, you know, it might not happen as often, but I prefer that women do it because they want to rather than because I pay them to. Um, just my feelings on the subject. Um, yeah, it's the, um, it's the element of capitalism at all times, which makes this, I think, so sad. Um, and the reason that I know that, you know, I, I, I kind of laugh a little bit when people tell me that I'm, you know, well, you know, that's not what, the, you know, that, that I'm in some way that the viewpoint I hold is not sex positive, um, despite being kind of, uh, well, I wouldn't say I'm anti-sex work, but despite being hesitant to embrace um, and destigmatize um, sex work. Um, but I, you know, I, I really don't feel that I'm in any way kind of sex negative because I think that I can't imagine anything cooler than you know a bunch of you know 40 people all going out to a woodland somewhere and having a fire and um you know the the kind of beat taking people and you know the kind of wildness of being you know young and uh free taking people and there being you know women dancing you know dancing around naked or some kind of a like orgy or something I, I feel like that's a situation I would happily embrace should I ever get the opportunity to do so and should it should it feel right and safe at the time. Um, I don't think of myself as in any way sex negative, I just have a real problem with... I, it, I feel like, in essence, that eroticism is, is something that is, is part of our essential humanity and that belongs to us and that shouldn't be allowed to be sold to us in the same way that I might feel that... Um, I don't know, like love or... Um, respect or democracy or I don't know, other abstract principles shouldn't be sold to me um, I don't know, I'm sorry I'm really, I'm really stoned I shouldn't have made this video really stoned I wonder if I, I have I said anything that I'm going to regret later on, I can't remember um, 
so my feelings are mixed about podium dancers basically on the one hand I, and I, I suppose the other reason that I feel slightly uncomfortable about podium dancers being in a club is because we live in a patriarchal society although people get tired of being told that and it doesn't mean anything to the majority of people so feminists should really stop saying it or at least articulate themselves better um, but we, we live in, in a society with, which privile privileges a male point of view and a male gaze um, and and to me, in a way, having semi-clad women dancing in cages so prominently over the the revelers, to me, seems to be a kind of symbol of a symbol of the a symbol of the sub subjugation of of the female body to the whims of of a male-centric society. I can't remember the word for male-centric, how pathetic. I'm really high. Um, so on the one hand, you know, if I, if I could only just turn off that part of my brain which constantly wants to analyse um, on a kind of sociological level and the part of my brain which drew me towards having a degree in English literature, you know, and loving the kind of interpretation of symbols, um, if I could only switch off that part of my mind, I'd be a really good, you know, I'd be able to sit down and shut up and be a good citizen, you know. But it's kind of this constant, f almost philosophical evaluation of the society I see playing out in front of me at all times, which makes it difficult for me to just kind of ignore the fact that there's a semi-clad woman dancing in the corner of the room uh, that's being paid to be there. Um... Yeah, I'd love, like to know your your thoughts, people, and I'm sorry for the um, grinding to a halt video, really, like it's been a like, slow car crash of a video. Um, I tried to put out a video once a week, and it just so happens this was the day I had off, and, I, and then I got stoned, sorry about that. Um, I want to make more videos. Uh, I hope you're well, guys, and um, peace. Bye.